Hi there, we're about to head up to Wellsboro again. Indy never likes to go anywhere except for when we go camping, she does this. Are you ready to go camping? Are you ready? Tell daddy to hurry up. Yeah, are you ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good girl. We decided to go back up to our camper in Wellsboro and I brought Jimmy and Jenny with me to Goodwill. This I thought was cute and then I saw the Dollar General sticker on the bottom of it it had faded a lot, so regardless, I put it back on the shelf. There were quite a few new items since we were just here last week. There was this little figurine. It had some Asian kanji figurines. I don't know if it's Japanese or Chinese. The price tag fell off, so I picked it up, and then I was seeing how much it was. But I couldn't figure out what animal this was, and neither could Jenny, and Jenny is my animal expert. So if you know what animal that was, please leave it below in the comments. I'd appreciate it. There are these two little ceramic butterfly uh, decorative pieces or maybe they were spoon rests or chopstick rests probably something to rest on <laughs> maybe chopstick rests and then I saw this and you don't really see a lot of St. Patrick's Day items and I know this was probably mass-produced it kind of looks like a hobbyist piece but I thought it was very cute and in great condition both of these figurines were very pretty the first one was marked gifts by House of Lloyd and this second one, I was surprised she still had all her fingers. She had a matte finish to her, and she was marked, her name was Melanie, and she was marked Made in Mexico. I decided to leave both of those on the shelf and keep moving down the aisle and see if there's anything else we can find that was new to us. In the back here was a little elephant. It seemed like it was old, it had some age, the paint had worn off, but it was just one little elephant, so I left it. Next, I saw this ice fisherman of an Inuit uh, fishing in the ice. It was made of resin. It was probably a uh, souvenir piece brought back from Alaska or Canada. It uh, looked to me that it was made of resin, so I did leave that on the shelf, but then I found right underneath, look at that. It had a tiny little mark on the bottom, so I knew it was more of a professional pottery piece, and it is marked Boss Castle Pottery. My favorite part of it is the blue swirl with a little bit of yellow and then the fern trees. And then I found this giant ashtray. The Williams Free School of Mechanical Trades ashtray. Oh, it's from 1967. Carefully put that right there. Oh, here's a Hawaii. Is this Joe somebody or other? Oh, no, it's not. That's more contemporary. Oh, that was a joke something else. An advantage to Jimmy being so tall, he can easily look at the top shelf and move the things forward. So we were rearranging the shelves because he was he was a little overwhelmed with how many how many things were on the shelf. So he's up top looking to see if there was any treasure and I'm looking kind of on the bottom shelves instead. And thank you so much for those of you who wished him a happy Father's Day yesterday. I really appreciate your kind words. Then I was like, wait, what about that? What about this? I knew it was a hobbyist piece. It was a ginormous swan. Uh, I do have a special place in my heart for swans. And then uh, we noticed the southwestern looking vase in the back there. Uh, to me, I, it, it probably was made in the southwest, but it wasn't marked and it was kind of rudimentary in my opinion. So I did leave that there. Then I saw this hen on nest and I was hoping it was glass and when I pulled it forward I saw it at a better angle that it was ceramic and it had some gold detailing to it. Um, it was $4.99 but I decided to leave that there and Jenny who you saw in the very beginning of the video was looking at books and she came over with this book. She knows I've been contacting eBay a lot in the past two months trying to get them to fix my estimated shipping dates and she was so sweet. She was like maybe you'll find the answer in here. Then I found this fused glass trinket dish. It was signed there in the corner. And so I decided to take that with me. I really like the brown and the black together. And now we are making some room by moving this out of the way. A little cruet. Then I got distracted by the Daisy and Buttons toothpick holder. And I wanted to see who made this giant, very heavy 
basket. Someone made that in Montmartre. That's pretty heavy though. What's that back there? What's this? That's cute. Little bunny doggy. Berries and ice luminary. I know, I saw that last time. This little elephant. It's probably made in Japan. Jimmy was putting things in front of me, in front of the camera, to see, do you like this? Do you like this? This reminded both of us of our trip to Paris, Texas. And then he found this little kind of triangle-shaped teapot, but it had a more contemporary mark on it, so I had him put it back. <laughs> then against the wall with the dishes, they had these soup bowls. And then these kind of look like Ray Dunn. And then half a cup of coffee. Jenny thought that was kind of funny because it was half a cup. And then on the top shelf, we found this. Mommy, sippy cup. Yeah. It's really tall. Because now I have four. $1.99. This is in really good shape. Because then we have four of them. That's in really good shape. We're taking that one. Once it goes in focus. Ha <laughs> ha. These are neat. Oh, they're different kinds of trout. Are these special though? No, I have some of those for <laughs> sale. Look, look how neat these are. Look, rainbow trout, tarpon, and northern pike. That's neat. Yeah. Those are cool. Look at those. Yeah. $3.99? Come on. That's crazy. $3.99. From Woodland Beach, dollar ninety nine. Hmm, fifty cents. Here's Dad. Okay, let me go up top. Let me find all the door. That's kind of neat. Entrance. Irish coffee. A little tiny Irish coffee. Oh, that's actually neat. Texas. Huh? That's neat. That is neat. See, you get it. Oh, it, I think it has a Japan sticker there. Yeah, that's that's. Yeah, I know. I see. And then I thought this was interesting too. This one, it's here last time. It has a Asian symbol. I'm not sure what it is. There. This little bud vase was not marked, but most likely was made in Mexico. I decided to leave that on the shelf, and then we were looking over in the silverware area. Those were plastic. I was hoping they were not, but once you pick them up, it was you could easily tell they were plastic. This kind of a mishmash of stuff. And in the back, they've rearranged. They've added some glass and uh, plates. This is neat. Huh? $9.99. Then in the Christmas area, I found this planter of a dove, and it was marked Napco, and I decided to take that. I hadn't seen this before, and upon researching it, it I think it came in a pair of two, but there was only the one, and there was no chips to it. It does have some crazing, and then they have, of course, these little vignettes around the walls of the store and I was checking them out. This is where I found an owl figurine last time we were here. Sorry, it's so blurry. <laughs> Focusing. Um, and then we decided to look at the purses before we left and I saw this purse and it reminded Jenny and me of Jack Skellington. I think someone had made it, but we both agreed that that definitely was Jack Skellington inspired. They had a couple Vera Bradley uh, bags and I thought this butterfly was kind of neat at first I thought it was those sequins that you move and they change but it was not so that ends our trip to the Wellsboro Goodwill and up next is this really cool caterpillar it's a fuzzy caterpillar with kind of snail antlers you can see it I know I'm not a scientist <laughs> I'm sure those aren't antlers but look how cute it is so I thought you might enjoy watching him
I know that there is a saying around here that if you see uh, fuzzy caterpillars, it means you're going to get a lot of snow. I don't know if that's real or not, but I did have a kindergartner. He was kind of uh, really focused on fuzzy caterpillars, and he brought in a report for me to read about all the research he had done on fuzzy caterpillars and how they kind of are supposed to be like, well, we're going to get a lot of snow in the winter. Here is everything that I picked up on the trip to Wellsboro, and I'm going to leave you with a video that was taken at our K River campground when a turkey baby, a baby turkey, just waddled up to me. Can you train him like a, like a little, like a pet? No, well, I'm just <laughs> trying to raise it so it can run loose in okay. the campground and be familiar with people. Uh, that's what we're working on, I think. How so old is he? No. <laughs> well, you're a little guy. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. I know I don't have any food. He doesn't seem to be afraid to go up to people. Okay. So. Oh, hello. How old is he? Oh, <laughs> Uh Hi, baby. Maybe going on three weeks Oh, now. you are just a little guy. Yes. Oh, I'll have to look so on the adorable. calendar when she gave it to me. Oh, look at that big bug. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That's been affecting his system, too, learning about all the bugs. Yeah. And what to look at, look at, he's like not. circulating, like, mm. Oh, you got it's it. It's already dead, Theo. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're a killer. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're like, oh, you're a turkey. I, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And I'll see ya.